We praise His name because He is Alpha and Omega. We praise His name because He is Almighty. We praise His name because He has given us life. Amen. 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 Welcome to our online campus. And for those of you in house, I say a good evening to all of you as well. And it's time for hour of prayer. Amen. Amen. And before we, we start praying, I just want to share some testimonies because I believe that it encourages us to have more faith in, in what we do here. It encourages us to pray and believe that God hears our prayers. So I just want to share with you some of the testimonies that we've received. And this first one is someone really needed a new vehicle and God blessed them this week with a new car. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Last week also we prayed for Phoenix Eye and we also prayed for the doctor, Dr. Nered, to have creative medical ideas to, to be able to, to solve her problem. And her surgeries were successful, amen? amen. And to help her eyelid cover and heal fully, the doctor figured out a God idea. He put a small weight under the skin to keep the eyelid from closing so the eye can heal. Let's, let's praise God for that. Amen. amen. The other testimony is Pastor Jennifer's daughter, Jacqueline, was driving home following a trailer and they were on the highway and the, the tire on the trailer blew out. But thanks be to God, she was covered and the tire did not hit her. Amen. So we thank God for safety as well. Amen. Amen. These are prayers we've prayed in this house. These are prayers we've prayed online and God has answered these prayers. So today I want us to, to start with some prayer requests we've also received. And if you don't mind, I'll ask those of you in the house to, to stand with, with me together in this house. And for those of you online, if you can stand, that's fine. If you want to kneel by your bed, by your chair, wherever you are, that's also fine. We have a prayer request for Rose's aunt. And she's in a critical condition after an accident. We've prayed in this house, miracle has happened. So we are believing that God will do it once, once again. So shall we all pray together? We are praying for, for Rose's aunt. She was involved in an accident and she's in a critical condition right now. I want to hear your voices right now in this house. Father Lord, we commit her into your hands wherever she is right now. Father, I pray that you will be in that hospital. Father, we pray for a divine intervention. We pray for healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you are going to heal the broken bones. We pray that you are going to mend the skin that is torn apart. Father, we pray that you are going to touch her in that hospital right now. Father, give her health. In, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help her to be able to recover fully so that she will be able to carry out her duties as she does every day in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us agree together in this house for that request as if it was, it was our own aunt. We pray, Lord, that you are going to listen to the prayer of, of your sons and daughters. Father, we thank you for listening to this prayer. We thank you for doing it for her. We, are, we also have another prayer request for Matthew. We are praying for, for Matthew's treatments, cancer treatments to be successful so the cancer will stop in his body. Let's pray together in this house. Father Lord, we commit Matthew into your hands. Father, we pray that the cells that are acting, acting the wrong way will, will, will come back in line as you intended it to be in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we pray that you will reach down to his body right now. Father, wherever Matthew is, wherever he was when he sent this message, we pray, Lord, that you encourage him in the mighty name of Jesus. Encourage him and let him know that the healer has arrived. Father, you are going to do this for him in the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to heal his body of, of, of cancerous cells in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for listening to this prayer and we thank you for doing it for Matthew. In Jesus' name, amen. 
I want us to pray for, for pastors. That, that This is the first prayer topic I have on my list. I want us to pray for pastors. We'll pray for our pastor Jennifer, but then I also want us to pray for pastors around the world. You see, the enemy works hard to attack pastors. The reason is because they are the front, they are the frontline warriors. You see, they are, they, are, they are the shepherds. They guide us, they, they, they protect us, they pray for us, they counsel us. So the enemy goes after pastors and I, I really want us to, to cover them in prayer. Shall we, shall we pray together in this house? Father Lord, we pray and commit our pastors into your hands. Father, we pray and commit the pastor of this house, Pastor Jennifer, into your hands. We pray for your protection over her life. We pray, Lord, that you will also bless her in her, in her ministry. Father, we pray for pastors around the world. We pray for your protection over their lives. Father, we pray that the work of the enemy shall not prosper. The work of the enemy shall not come to pass. Father, you are greater than, than all, all, all other gods. There is nothing that is above you. There is nothing that you cannot do. Father, we dip them in the blood of Christ. We pray for protection over their lives. Father, we pray that your angel armies will protect pastors around the world. Father, we also pray that their ministries will be prosperous. Father, we pray that you, you will bless their ministries. You will go ahead of, of, of them in everything they do. You will pave their ways in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray and commit this into your hands. The Bible says in Romans chapter 15 verse 13, May the God of hope fill you with all joy. So our prayer here is that may the God of hope fill pastors with all joy and peace as they trust in Him, so that they may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father Lord, I pray that by the power of the Holy Spirit, pastors will be filled with joy. Pastors will be filled and, 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 and they, they, will, they will feel your comfort. They will feel that you are with them. They will have peace and they will be able to trust in you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to lift your voices along with me in this house in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. We pray for pastors around the world in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Now I want us to pray, to pray so that we'll be able to serve God in the power of the Holy Spirit and not in our flesh. And last week we had a time of prayer and fasting on Friday. For those of you who were not able to join, you can watch later online. But a lot of Christians, when we hear of fasting, we think about the flesh. Because it's not easy to fast, I have to admit, it's not easy to fast. But that is wanting to serve God in our flesh. So today I want us to pray that we'll be able to serve God in His power, in the power of the Holy Spirit. And the reason is because if we serve God in the power of the Holy Spirit, we will be able to do what, what we think we can't do by ourselves. Your flesh will tell you you can't do it. But then if you serve God with the power of the Holy Spirit, He will enable you to, to do what you think you cannot do. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 5, from verse 16 to 17, it says, So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is contrary to the Spirit, and the Spirit what is contrary to the flesh. So shall we pray together in this house that we'll be able to serve God in the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray together. Lord, we pray that you will help us serve you with the power of the Holy Spirit. Father Lord, I pray that you are going to break all barriers that, that are born from the flesh. All barriers, all things that make, make us think that we can't serve you. All things that, that, that draw, draw us away from serving you. Father, I pray that you are going to bridge that gap right now. You are going to bridge that gap with your Holy Spirit. Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit will hover around this room right now. Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit will touch the people watching online in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let them know that you have given them the Holy Spirit. You have given them the comforter. You have given them the guide. You have given them the shepherd. You have given them the leader. What is going to help them live on this earth? 
by the Holy Spirit, not by the flesh, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to walk in spirit. We are going to walk in truth. We are going to walk in, in the steps that you have ordered, ordered for us to walk in, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for listening to our prayer. We thank you, Lord, for hearing what, what, what we have to say in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I want us to pray to protect families. We are going to pray to protect all families. So you pray for, for your family, and then you pray for other families. If there's a family you know of that need prayer, please, let's pray for, for, for families around the world right now. And I want you to pray for, for your family. So I want you to, to, to pray as if this is the last prayer you are going to say for your family. Pray as if your family's progress and your family's status depends on this. Let's pray right now. Father, Lord, we commit our families into your hands. Lord, I commit my family into your hand. I commit my siblings into your hands. I commit spirits into your hands. Father, I commit their businesses into your hands. I commit finances into your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for your protection over families in this room. I pray, Lord, that you are going to use us as a point of contact for all families. Father, Lord, touch us to reach families. Father, we are spending time here, but we are also standing in the gap for our families in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you are going to protect our families. You are going to let your angels be, be around our families. Let your shield be all around our families. When the enemy throws an arrow, it will not hit because your shield will be there to block the work of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you are going to promote families right now. You are going to help families to grow strong and stay together. Father, we come against parables. We come against disputes in families. We come against things that are, are breaking up families in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you are going to you are going to step in the midst of all challenges in families in the mighty name of Jesus. No family connected to ICF will break in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to hear, I want to hear your voices. I want to hear your voices in, in this house. No family, no family connected to you. No family connected to your friends. No family connected to anyone associated with ICF will break in the mighty name of Jesus. The work of the enemy shall not come to pass. We have prevailed. We have victory in the mighty name of Jesus. We have victory because we have Jesus in our boat. We thank you, Lord, for listening to this prayer. And now I also want us to, to pray for the lost to be saved. It's, it's the, the, the season for, for Easter. And it talks about, it, tells, it reminds us of, of Jesus Christ coming to this earth and, and dying for our sins. He came so that we will be saved. Amen. And there are people who are still lost. There are people who don't have the benefits that you have to need to understand what it means, what the, the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary means. So there are people who are still lost. And Easter is an opportunity for seeds to be planted. Easter is an opportunity for souls to be won. Easter is an opportunity for us to witness to other people who Christ is. So let us pray for souls to be won all around this world. It's, it, it, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter where the prayer will go to. It doesn't matter. It, it, it mustn't necessarily be wrong. But let's pray for Easter to, to, to be a season where souls will be saved in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray right now. Father Lord, we pray for all lost souls around the world. We are praying that this season will be a season for them to draw closer to you. This season will remind them of, of the greatest story that was ever told. This season will remind them of the man that came to die for our sins. This season will remind them of the greatest story that we have ever heard of. Father Lord, I pray that these souls will be, will, will be saved in the mighty name of Jesus. They will hear the good news around the world. They will hear the good news here in Rome. They will hear the good news in ICF and their lives will turn around in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Let us also pray for boldness. Let's pray for boldness to be able to invite people for Easter. It's not all about the celebration and, and, and eating chocolate and, and cooking food, but we also we are also going to pray because as Christians, Easter reminds us of something. It tells us that Christ came, he died, he resurrected again. Amen. Amen. And he's going to come back again. So we are going to pray for boldness to be to be able to, to invite people to Easter services. Yes. It's good to invite people to come to your home to eat and drink and dine and be happy. But let's pray for that same boldness to be able to invite people for Easter services around the world. Amen. Amen. Let's pray right now. Oh, Makayan Babo, the Gedoshi Payanda Baba, La Carlos. Father, we pray that you are going to give us the boldness, the courage to be able to invite someone to, 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 to Easter service. Father, Lord, help us. To, to walk to people that we've never spoken to. Help us to be able to evangelize. Help us to be able to share the good news. Help us to be able to draw people close to, to your kingdom. Help us to be able to share your word with them so that they can also go to Easter services and, and partake in what you are doing in, in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for listening to this prayer. Amen. Now, I also want us to pray for salvation. We are praying for salvation because there are so many people who walk this earth not knowing who the Savior is. There are so many people who have heard about Jesus Christ, but they wonder, is he really the Messiah? Because there are so many other stories that they've heard. Someone said, A, hey, someone is saying, B, which one should I choose? Who is the Messiah? Who is the way? But Jesus Christ said he is the way. Amen. Amen. So we are going to pray for salvation. We are going to pray for people's hearts to, to turn around. You know, the Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 36, from I'm reading from verse 26 to 27. It says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from your heart of spirit. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Amen. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and, 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 and be able to keep my laws. So let's pray for salvation right now. Let's pray all, all across this room and also online. Let's pray for salvation. Let's pray for salvation. Let's pray that we are, we are going to, to be saved ourselves. And if we have to repent, let's pray for repentance. If we have to be forgiven, let's pray for that. Let's pray for forgiveness from the Father. Let's pray for salvation. Because everything we talk about here on Sundays, everything we pray about is about salvation. If you are not saved, then eternity is not assured. Because then what happens? You are not going to spend eternity in heaven. So let's pray for salvation. Let's pray for salvation. It's not enough to come here on a Sunday. It's not enough to come here on a Wednesday to pray. What you need is salvation. So let's pray for salvation. Salvation was given to us freely. Let's pray for that and, and seek that salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we pray. We pray, Lord, that you will, you will take our hearts of stone and, 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 and turn our hearts of stone into heart, a heart of flesh. Father Lord, we pray that you are going to give us a heart that you can, you can handle, a heart that you can turn around, a heart that you can move, a heart that, that yearns to follow your decrees, a heart that yearns to follow your rules in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray for a heart that will not will not do something to hurt you. We pray, Lord, that we will have a fear for who you are. We pray that we will revere your holy name so that we will not we will not sin against you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are giving you our heavy hearts. We are giving you our stony hearts in exchange of what you have for us. Oh, Lord, let there be a divine exchange right now. Father, Lord, we pray that you will touch you will reach down into this room. You will reach down to the people watching online right now. Father, Lord, let there be a divine exchange. Father, take away what, what is not of you and replace it with your Holy Spirit. Father, I pray that you are going to touch people right now. Father, people who are, who are opening up their, their arms, opening up their hearts. 
Father, people who want to be saved by your grace, I pray that there will be a divine exchange. You are going to take away their sins. You are going to take away the, 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 the things that they do. The things that they do that do not please you and you are going to give them a heart that follows you a heart that yearns to do your will in the mighty name of jesus I want you to pray in your own words. If you have, if you have the, 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 the prayer of the Holy Spirit and you can pray in your heavenly language, feel free to pray and pray for that salvation. Pray for that glory to rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. I also want us to pray for Easter services around the world. There will be, we'll have an Easter service here. We are going to pray for the service that's going to happen here. We'll pray for the teams, we'll pray for the worship team. We are going to pray for, for, for the sermon that will be preached in this house. There are so many people who will walk into church for the first time on Sunday. Amen. Amen. And I'm believing in that those people will not walk into, into any church around in, in this world and walk out of the church the same. So we are going to pray that anyone who walks into church on Sunday will receive an encounter. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray for an encounter with Jesus Christ himself, an encounter with the Holy Spirit. It, it, it will be nice for them to make new friends, but that's not what is important. On Sunday, we are praying for an encounter with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So first of all, I want us to pray for ICF Rome. We are going to pray and commit the worship team into God's hands. Let's pray right now and commit the worship team. Father Lord, we pray and commit the worship into God's hands. We pray for the worship leaders. Father, I pray that you are going to help them to, 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 to be firm and bold enough to stand in front of people who don't know Christ or for, in front of people who know Christ. Father, I pray that you are going to, to help their vocal cords. I pray, Lord, that you are going to help them in their ministry. Father, as they minister unto people, they will minister like the angels do in heaven. Father, they will sound like heavenly choir. Father, they will be able to pierce the hearts of people. They will be able to usher people into God's presence. Father, they will set the atmosphere. I pray, Lord, for the instrumentalists. I pray for, for, for the musicians. I pray for the vocalists. I pray for everyone. I pray, Lord, that you will also protect them, that they will be able to come here on Sunday and prepare the way for the message that will go forth and transform the lives of people. I pray, Lord, that people who sing along on Sunday will receive your blessing. I pray that people who sing along on Sunday will receive an encounter in the mighty name of Jesus. Their words will mean something to them. Their lyrics will change the lives of people in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us also pray for, 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 for the sermon. Let's pray for the sermon that is going to come to, 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 to this house on Sunday. Let's pray and commit that, that word into God's, God's hands. Now a human being is going to deliver the sermon, but we are praying for the Holy Spirit to back that word in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that the Holy Spirit will back the word that will come on Sunday. Let's pray together in this house. Father Lord, I'm praying that you are going to fill the, 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 the messenger with your Holy Spirit. You are going to fill Pastor Jen with your Holy Spirit. That she will speak your word. She will speak your word and your word will come forth and transform the lives of people. Father Lord, people will fall under the anointing of the Holy Spirit on Sunday. People will receive your touch on Sunday. People will receive miracles on Sunday. The doors will open for people. There will be breakthroughs in the mighty name of Jesus. Situations will change on Sunday in the mighty name of Jesus. All enemies will fall in the mighty name of Jesus. All the doors will open for you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe this, I want you to claim it and pray for it in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray in the name that was given to us that is, that is above all other names. Lord, we pray that people will receive your encounter, people will be touched by your word, and their lives will be transformed in Jesus' name.
In that same way, let's pray for churches around the world and the message that comes to churches around the world. You see, just as I, I, I mentioned, so many people will go to church for the first time on Easter Sunday. The reason people do that is because they want to see what is different. They want to see what Christians talk about. So a lot of times people go to church on, on, on uh, candle, for candlelight service, which is around the Christmas time, New Year's, and then Easter. That's when people go to church a lot. And there are so many kinds of people who will go to church. And I remember last year's Easter, I was watching different services from, from different countries. And there was one particular service I saw, and I'm not going to mention any, any names, but then the pastor was saying that he wanted to change Easter. Not, not that he wanted to change Easter, but he wanted to break away from, from what has, has been done for, for centuries. So he wanted to do something else. And so in order to do something else, he puts together a drama and so many other things. And believers in Christ, there was, there was nothing that was done on that stage that day that was, that was biblical. And the Bible that we have is complete. Amen. Amen. The story of Jesus dying and coming back alive is complete. Amen. You don't need to sugarcoat it. You don't need to add anything to it. You just need to say it as it is. Yes. There's nothing that you can do to add to that story. So we are praying for churches around the world to propagate the right message about Jesus Christ, to propagate the right good news, because whatever people capture on that day may end up being the story they live with for the rest of their lives. So that's the final prayer for this evening before we close and, 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 and go into to groups. And those of you online, feel free to, to continue in prayer. I want us to pray that final prayer for churches around the world and for the message that those churches around the world will, will preach. And this, this prayer, I want us to pray so that if there is any message that is not of God, we are going to pray for God to block the ears of people who, need, who, who don't need that message. Amen. Amen. We are going to block ears so they don't hear the bad news. And we are going to open the ears and the hearts of people to be able to hear the good news. So that when those seeds are planted, those seeds will grow and become something fruitful. And those people will experience the love of God and the greatness of God and who Jesus Christ is and why he came on this earth. Shall we all pray together? This is our last prayer. Shall we pray with our minds? Shall we pray with all our words? Shall we pray as, as if that the life of our, our friends depended on, on this. Shall we pray together? Let's pray for people around the world. Let's pray for Christians around the world. Let's pray that God will help them decipher what is right from what is wrong. Let's pray that if there is any word, if there is any message that the devil is, is planting to, to, to distort the good news, those, those messages will, 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 will not fall on fertile ground in the mighty name of Jesus. We block the ears of people from hearing the bad news. We block the ears of people from hearing a mixture of what Jesus Christ came to do on this earth. The message is simple. He came, he died, he rose again. Amen. He came, he died, he rose again. And the blood he shed on the cross is the blood that washes our sins as white as snow. That is the message we want to preach. That is who we want people to follow. We want people to follow Christ and no one else. Father, we pray that you are going to open the hearts of people who will hear the good news and block the hearts of people who and block the hearts of congregants who will be under under the words that under words that are not from you in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for listening to this prayer. Amen. Amen. And I'll just end with 
Psalm 55, verse 22, it says, Give your burdens to the Lord and he will take care of you. So whatever your burdens are in this house, whatever your burdens are watching online, I'm praying that you will not leave this house today with that burden. You will leave that burden at the feet of Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us pray together. Father, we are committing all our burdens unto you. Father, you know the struggles we go through. You know the difficulties we face. Father, we commit it all unto you. There is nothing that we can do without you. And we know that you can do all things. So, Father, we are bringing our burdens to your feet today. We are not walking out of this building with that, that burden. We are not leaving this live stream with that burden. We are giving it all to you because you said you will take care of us. It is in your word and we believe that your word will not come and return void. Father, Lord, your word will be accomplished. We are giving you our burdens and we know you will take care of us. We thank you, Lord, for listening to our prayers this evening. We thank you, Lord, for visiting us today. We thank you for giving us the encounter we ask for. We thank you, Lord, for giving us the testimonies. We pray that the requests that we receive in this house will also become testimonies next week in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that people will receive your blessing in Jesus' name. We pray that everyone listening to this prayer and also seeing this prayer will receive your protection in Jesus' name. And Father, Lord, they will continue to walk in your favor. They will continue to walk in your grace. Your goodness and your mercies will follow us in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for listening to this prayer. We bless your holy name. We give it all to you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen.